Hello students, welcome to chapter 10, Vector Algebra. Today I continue students, exercise 10, question number 12. Students, today numerical, it's very big, big and very most IMP numerical, I explain here. In question 12, let a vector A, i plus 4j plus 2k and vector B, 3i minus 2j plus 7k and C, 2i minus j plus k, 4k. Find vector D. Yes, it is a fourth vector. Vector D defined which is perpendicular to both A and B. And C dot D15. Should us what the meaning here? Perpendicular? Yes, it is dot product 0. Means D dot with A0 and D dot with B0. And easily you can gain value of D. So here I assume first. Yes, suppose. Vector D is an assumption just like A, B, C belongs to R cube. If A perpendicular to D and B perpendicular to D given that perpendicular to both so A with D, B with D. So definitely we will say A and D dot 0 and second also b dot d 0 you easily taking dot product with the a b and d so does a i have known that a 1 4 2 d assumption so it will get 1 a 4 b twice c that's the statement one actually here i create number of the terms a b and c there are the three equations and then you derive a b c value now b dot d so you can apply your value for b that's your b 3 minus 2 7 3 minus 2 7 and d i have a b c so students your data is 3a minus 2b 7c that is equation number 2 now Take to third case. Yes, that also given. From given, C dot D is a 15. So, what's your C here, students? C is your 2 minus 1 and 4. And D I have A, B, C. And you will take again dot product. So, students, twice A minus b 4c is equal to 15 that's your equation number third now anyhow you will calculate by eliminations equation 1 2 3 and derive abc value i will first operate here this b is removed here multiply by 2 so solve 1 and 2 you calculate in the b and b removing so here 2 multiply that same 1 a plus 4b twice c and that is 2 multiply so 6a minus 2 multiply then 4b 7 to the 14 0 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 multiply so it will get 4c 4c cancel 7a that is 16c statement number 4 same doing students now second and third i just remove value of b it means AC convert equation 5 and 5 and 4 again eliminations. So here if you remove the B, this multiply by 2. So solve 2 and 3. So this 2 is same. 3A minus 2B, 7C. And here 2 multiply 4A, 2B, 8C and 30 minus plus minus minus this cancel again one more time check 3a minus 2b plus 7c same 2 multiply 4 2 8 and 52 is 30 so students your data is minus a minus c minus 30 so a plus c is equal to 30 statement number 5 now 4 and 5 again you calculate by the method of elimination here 7 multiply so solve 4 in 5, 7 in 
सिक्सटीन सी हियर मल्टीप्लाई बाय सेवन सेवन ए सेवन सी सेवन थ्री जो ट्वेंटी वन टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन सो योर गेटिंग आंसर इज हियर माइनस सेवन माइनस सिक्सटीन दैट ये सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन नाइन सी एंड दैट इज विल बी माइनस टू वन जीरो सो सी इज अ माइनस टू वन जीरो बाई नाइन ट्वेंटी वन टेन सा थ्री थ्री सा सो थ्री सेवन सा माइनस सेवेंटी बाई थ्री दैट्स योर वैल्यू ऑफ सी कवर एंड दैट सी अटैच हियर यू विल गेट ए सो फ्रॉम द फिफ्थ योर ए वैल्यू 30 minus a, sorry 30 minus c, and minus c already known minus 70, so plus 70 by 3, 90 plus 70, so answer is a 7 and 9, yes, 16, 160 by 3, that's your a cover. Now a and c, put either here, either here, either here, and derive value of b. so i will use any one equations from one to three students and easily you get answer for b so here now operate equation number first from one one a plus four b twice c is equal to zero i will derive value for b so four b Minus a minus twice c. What's the minus a? Minus one sixty. And what is the c? C I have students minus seventy by three. Now answer cover. Minus one sixty plus one forty by three. Yes, that is a minus minus plus one forty plus and minus one sixty. It will get minus twenty by three. Yes, one forty and sixty. It is only twenty. Now four five is a cancel. So B I will get minus five by three. Now A done, B done, and C done. So finally I will cover my answer. Therefore required vector D, which is A B C. Now what's your A B C value, students? A I have one sixty by three. B minus five by three, and C students I will get minus seventy by three. And here students simple you can arrange one by three, one sixty i minus five j minus seventy k, and that's your simple way answer students. Now continue students next question thirteenth one. This is very very most IMP in exam level. Question is the scalar product of the vector i plus j plus k with a unit vector along the sum of the vectors means sum means resultant vector right? 2i 4j minus 5k and lambda i plus 2j plus 3k is equal to 1. Then find value of lambda. First of all, students, I just explain you sum of the vectors of this first and this second. And that unit vector I derive first, and after that I making the dot product with i plus j plus k, and then we will cover value of lambda. So first of all I calculate only sum of the a plus b. It is a resultant vector addition with a and b, and that unit vector I will derive. So students, my a value here. Vector a and vector b. A vector is that two, four, minus five, and b vector lambda two, three. Yes, lambda two and three. Now you will find out first sum of vector. Yes, it is sum of both vectors. It is a plus b. Simple, you will cover both vectors additions. So it will get two plus lambda, comma six, comma minus two. And now you create that unit vector. Read that scalar product with the vector 
and that sum of the unit so that I consider R and you will go to unit vector so modulus derive first so what the modulus 2 plus lambda square 6 will be 36 and minus 2 square is a 4 so it get totally 4 4 lambda lambda square and here 36 and 4 40 here 4 to do the 4 lambda and lambda square total in your cover lambda square 4 lambda and 44 that's your magnitude now I will explain unit vector of the both summations so unit vector students it is r cap that will be r by magnitude r and what's your r are you known that 2 plus lambda 6 minus 2 and magnitude r is a under root lambda square 4 lambda and 44 now students one more time read your question your question is scalar product means dot product of the vector i j k so i j k i explain here it is a c from given c vector i just assumption i plus j plus k 1 1 1 and this your c dot product with unit vector it means this unit vector actually it is coming from sum of the both vector so here i waiting for sum after that unit vector converting and now dot product with c it's equal to given one that's a dot product so from given continue i again write my statement c dot r cap is one that's the given in the full question statement and see I have 1 1 1 dot then R cap is a 2 plus lambda 6 minus 2 by lambda square 4 lambda 44 is equal to 1 now you will create dot product so students 2 plus lambda 6 minus 2 and your lambda square 4 lambda 44 that's as it is is cancel so lambda plus 6 the same lambda square 4 lambda 44 now you will take square on both side so students you get exactly lambda plus 6 whole square your lambda square 4 lambda 44 so lambda square expansion 6 to the 12 and 36 here as it is so lambda square lambda square gone another only your answer 12 lambda minus 4 lambda 8 lambda and 44 minus 36 it is 8 lambda become exactly 1 so it is numerical then but i one more time explain this full numerical again in shortly see scalar product means dot product that one with sum of the vectors for a and b so i will create first both sum and unit vector create so before unit i will go to magnitude then after unit vector and that dot product with c c is what i plus j plus k that's the given in your questions that so that's your main term c dot r1 and dot product taking simplify and calculate your value is lambda is equal to 1 and here students is very easy and simple way our 13 question is done now i'm moving ahead one by one in the question number 14 and 14 also easy and easily students i will explain that question number 14. now continue students one more questions 14. this is also very very most imp numerical in exam level if a b c are mutually perpendicular vectors equal magnitudes also show that a plus b plus c is equally inclined to a b c 
So does equally inclined means they making the same angles. So here given that are mutually perpendicular and equal magnitudes. So from given, I just showing a magnitude, b magnitude, c magnitude, and mutually perpendicular means a perpendicular b and b perpendicular c. That means students a dot b. Either b dot c, either a dot c must be zero. And here equal, I just assume magnitude a, magnitude b is equal to k assumptions. K is the suggestions for any non-zero. Okay. Now I will create the equally inclined. So before create. I just explain here first magnitude of ABC square because that magnitude I utilizations in the solutions it is A plus B plus C dot A plus B plus C and you take your dot products and simple way you will define magnitude of A plus B plus C. And then after I will start my actual numericals. It's very easily we ending there. So that definitions easily I create a dot a, a dot b, a dot c plus now chance to be b dot a, b dot b, and b dot c. And chance to see c dot a, c dot b, c dot c. Generally, this you know. A next b dot b next c dot c. I will take that magnitude a square, magnitude b square, and magnitude c square. And other are two times a dot b, b dot c. And c dot a, and that is dot product zero, and that's I taking constant k. So students, I just mention these are three k square. For the value a plus b plus c the whole square. So exactly you will told a b c vector additions is the root three k. Now I will start this angle equally inclined with a b a c. So now I will take cos of a plus b plus c with the a first angle create. Very easy. A plus b plus c dot a upon magnitude upon magnitude a. So does this magnitude? I will show here. In terms of constant k, so that dot product is a a dot a plus b dot a plus c dot a, and that's the students root three k. That is also k. Magnitude of a already given that, and I assume it is k equally, and that's the students you will take magnitude a square zero zero root three k square. It will k square by root three k square. That one by root three. Our first angle is derived. Statement number one. Angle between a plus b plus c with a. Same with b. Same with c. I will derive and prove that. So now I will doing that cos of a plus b plus c with the b angle. And you will checking here either cos theta one best way for easily you explaining here cos theta one theta one equal. Secondly taking theta two so a plus b plus c dot b by its magnitude and that magnitude of b and that also taking students theta two value. Then students here you will apply your a dot b, b dot b, 
एन सी डॉट बी अपॉन दैट्स मैग्नीट्यूड ऑलरेडी नोन यू रूट थ्री के एंड दैट ऑल्सो के नाउ दैट इज योर मेडल इज बी स्क्वेर एंड अदर आर जीरो सो ही जीरो मॉडल इज बी स्क्वेयर जीरो एंड रूट थ्री के स्क्वेयर इट विल बी के स्क्वेयर बाई रूट थ्री के स्क्वेयर वन बाई रूट थ्री कॉस टीटा टू इट इज कॉस टीटा टू चेक इट इज सेम आंसर कमिंग एंड दैट इज द इक्वेशन नंबर टू सेम आई टेकिंग नाउ थर्ड इक्वेशन नंबर थर्ड आफ्टर दैट कॉस टीटा थ्री ऑल्सो सेम डिराइव देन माई प्रूफिंग इज डन सो वन बाई वन नाउ आई टेकिंग टू थर्ड केस कंटिन्यू ऑल्सो कॉस विथ ए बी सी विथ द डी आई मीन सी सो ए प्लस बी प्लस सी डॉट सी अपॉन मॉड्यूलस एंड दैट ऑल्सो सी सेम अप्लाई डॉट प्रोडक्ट सो स्टूडेंट ए डॉट सी B dot C, C dot C, and that is taking root three k. That also k. Now here you know, and other two are zero. So zero plus zero plus k. I mean C square, root three k square. It is k square by root three k square. One by root three. Statement three. And that students you taking cos theta three, third angle. it means what from 1 to n3 we will show last 1 2 and 3 cos theta 1 is equal to cos theta 2 is equal to cos theta 3 it means theta 1 equal to theta 2 equal to theta 3 and last you write down so a plus b plus c is equally inclined with the vectors a with the vector b and with the vector c now students i continue after that same is the next questions now next is a very easy and very short numerical now students continue question 15 prove that a plus b dot a plus b is magnitude a magnitude b whole square If and only if a and b are mutually perpendicular to each other, for a non-zero, b non-zero. So it is when and they are perpendicular. Pro, yes, dot product zero. So I will start first here. A H S in the part of a plus b dot a plus b, and here you will apply distributive property. A dot a plus a dot b. Plus b dot a and last b dot b. That you know very well. It is a magnitude whole square. So students here I will mention magnitude whole square. It is two times a dot b and that also magnitude b whole square. Now a dot b if I take zero, then my proofing is done. So that are intermediate I utilize. If a dot b zero, then confirm a perpendicular to b means a and b are what perpendicular vectors? Yes, perpendicular vectors. That's principle I utilizations for here. So a whole square zero, b whole square. It will cover a square plus b square, and that's your RHS. But reason only and only if a and b are perpendicular to each other. That's way we going now. Now let us continue question number sixteenth. Sixteen is a one kind of our MCQ base. Now let us after fifteen next sixteen MCQ. If theta is the angle between two actors, and a dot b is greater than or equal to zero, then asking our MCQs. 
Very easy, students. Here three ways we explain this numerical in the way of the answer wise. All as T C. You know that very well. Yes. In the first quadrant, cos theta is positive. It means a dot b greater than zero. If you cos theta negative in second quadrant, then sure a dot b is what less than zero. And third, cos theta is zero. Then definitely a dot b is equal to zero. Here perpendicular theta here zero to ninety and here ninety to pi three three way. But here greater than equal to zero. It means I going here. Now from given a dot b greater than equal to zero. Then where is your angle? Zero to pi by two including zero including pi by two because here or equal to oriented. And here two extra. If a given a dot b zero, then you will take what theta exactly pi by two here. And if you a dot b less or equal to zero, it means it is a obtuse angle. It is acute and that right angle. If you that given less than cos theta, then your angle become pi by two to pi. And that is your simple way. So it is here. This question number sixteen is done. Now I going ahead. One more seventeenth one, and that is also in the same way. One of the MCQ. I just explain question number seventeen. Now students, question seventeen going ahead. If A and B are unit vectors and theta is angle between them, also A plus B is a unit vector. Then what is the theta? Students here A and B are unit vector means. A magnitude, B magnitude is one. An angle between A and B is theta. Also, given that A plus B is unit vector, it means magnitude one from that, and take you a simple magnitude square. A plus B whole square, and here apply A plus B dot. A plus B, and you will take both dot product. So students, your A dot A, next A dot B, next B dot A, and next B dot B. That you know, it is modulus A whole square. That is a two times A dot B, and that is modulus B square. Now, students, A magnitude, B magnitude, already you know, that is one. So I just put it here one square. Here A dot B same. That also one. One and one cancel. Only you will create A dot B, which is minus one half. That's one. A dot B minus that side and two is divided. Means minus one by two. Now, what your target? Your target is angle between both vector. So cos theta. It is angle between A dot B with cos. Formula is A dot B by modulus A modulus B. And students, A dot B you just know minus half. And upon magnitude, that's so one. Now cos theta is minus half. Theta is cos inverse minus half. It is pi minus pi by three. Yes, sixty degree. Pi minus sixty degree. It is a three pi minus pi. It will be two pi by three. And here, students, it's simple way. Your question number seventeen is also done. Now, be next question. After that, students, question seventeen again. Yes, students. Now, after your seventeen questions, I will stop here. and further explanations to mcq and remaining our miscellaneous example i will explain in the next parts bye bye